Hi everybody, let's talk about aliens and UFOs. You know, there was a guy on Joe Rogan today talking about UFOs and how it may take 100,000 years to get to the, like, level 3 um, of, of how you're able to go from one galaxy to another galaxy and go all over the universe and it will take a very long time, to, like, you know, 100,000 years or something. I want to say I disagree, but nevertheless, I mean, because you never know, because I want to say, like, maybe it could take faster, I mean, less time to get to um, Star Trek level or Star Wars level. Or, you know, all these different levels, and what does it mean? How long will it take until people can get to the nearest star, or another galaxy, or, um, you know, and so on and so forth, and all these different things. And I was just watching a clip on Joe Rogan today. The, that, that one guy, you know, with the white hair, the physicist guy. Talking about some UFO sightings. Now I decided I'm going to watch this show. Roswell, New Mexico, 101 Pilot. Oh my god, you got to be kidding. They're closing the road. What's going on? Oh my god, it's late. Long time no see, cowboy. Oh my god, aliens everywhere. They're conditioning us like Beyonce. They're brainwashing us. And it's not the government and weird, crazy people like Bill Gates who are brainwashing us. It's aliens. Oh my god, I don't believe him. Actually, my great-grandma was impregnated by an alien. I am a believer, okay? Hola, I'm a cute little waitress with that dead nice. I'm dancing to the jukebox. We're close. Wait a minute, you're that cute cop that I knew. Back when I was a little girl 10 years ago, back in high school, I finally came back to the city, back to Roswell, New Mexico. What? You said there's something wrong with the light in my car? That's why you stopped me? It's not because you like me and I like you? And it's been a long time? And maybe something happened? I see dead people. She says, oh, you know what I was doing? I was, uh, working on this, uh... Miracle thing here, regenerative thing, Baba is it, is it gonna be the best thing ever? We're working on it for so long, but then somebody needed money for a wall. God damn it, Trump! That's basically what she said. He's like, um, I can't do it anymore. There's no such thing as like, um, a fundraiser. <laughs> can't go around asking people for money which is what people do all the time oh no we can't we can't do it because we can only get money from the taxpayers oh get down get down oh my god i'm so close to you no please come back you're bleeding he screams like superman when he um lost lois and he went around the earth a few times to reverse time a little bit of time travel in one of the Superman movies. He literally traveled back in time. Um, well, this guy didn't do it that. He didn't do that, but he did scream a lot. And there was like electricity and lights went out. And then he spilled uh, ketchup on, on her. And apparently he healed her. So he gets up. And he's like, oh, it's, it's just ketchup. But then she goes and she looks and she finds a bullet hole and she's like, Wait a minute, something did happen to me, I just don't remember. Roswell, New Mexico. Wow. Oh, this movie is heavy on racism, like, first it's, uh, Trump is so bad, and now it's like, Oh, nobody likes Mexicans. Oh, god damn it. Hey, Sheriff Lady, how long have you been, been going after my daddy's daughter? Were you hurt? God damn it, girl. You got a lot of stuff on your wall. If I go crazy, will you still call me a woman? If I'm alive and well, will you still be there holding my hand? I keep you by my side with my superhuman might girl power. I'm looking at the 
woman in the mirror. I'm looking at her boobies and the gunshot. The gun shot her in the boobie. Is it still there? Or did the alien heal her? We may never know. It's my face. It's on fire. It's a mark. And now I'm hired. I got so many rings. God damn it, I don't know what to do with them. It's just my face. You'll never have another. I got this face. That's worth a million dollars. But all you want to know is where I've been. Where I've been freaking, freaking ho. Do -do 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 -do. So far we got three aliens, two brothers, a sister. And they're arguing. And the one, the one brother is like, you know, all you're thinking about is yourself. But the other brother's like, well, I had to heal her. I think I like her. But what if somebody finds out? Don't worry, he turned off the canvas in the police department. How does someone want to miss him ever again? Oh, I'm so sad at the cemetery. See, so happening. And they cross back into the ground. Love line. Ooh, high school bottle. There's a DJ here hey, tonight in case you want to stay. Oh, oh my God. Part of my body was glowing. It was a handprint from the alien off my chest. Oh my God, aliens are coming. They're already here. And when the aliens come, they're going to rape and steal and stuff. This is basically an analogy of um, like Mexicans coming in to America with... That's not what Trump was saying. He was saying that some people do come in and they do bad stuff. Some people, not necessarily one kind of person, not necessarily from one country, but basically from different countries, lots of different countries coming in. And so this whole show is kind of a of an analogy of, of that in your face because, you know, it's the, they, they made it a, a big deal about illegal aliens and they they really try to conflate between that and immigrants which immigrants are illegal you know if you go through the proper channels you, you're documented but they try to make a big deal about it the aliens are gonna take out jazz don't want to close my eyes don't want to fall asleep until you touch my body and totally save it. I'm an alien. Like a resident alien. Sci-fi show. And I think I love you. Oh no. What are you going to show me? Oh my god. Three alien eggs. Yeah. I'm an alien. Okay. We, uh, we were born from these eggs. We were kind of sitting in the eggs for like 50 years. And then in 97 we came out. As little kids came out and uh, we were adopted or one of us was in foster care. And now I have to tell you. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit of a love story. And they've noticed how that he, he touches her to show her his memories. A little bit of a Spock Star Trek thing. But in reverse. You're here listening to music on an iPod. Yeah, what do you want now? Mm, I am pretty good looking. That's right, she's pretty good looking. Wow, that's my song. <laughs> it's my Kurtz on a skateboard. You got that. Something special feeling. Ooh. Oh, I feel so special. I feel so brighter. Oh, what you gonna do when the truth hunts you down? Yeah.